Hi, I'm Art St. Cyr, Chief Engineer of the 2011 Honda Odyssey. I'm here with a member of my development team at Honda's R&D Center in Ohio to tell you about the all new Odyssey coming to Honda showrooms this fall. This fourth generation Odyssey is the first one developed by a team of Honda engineers in the US and it will be built exclusively at a Honda plant in Alabama. But that's only one reason we call this vehicle an American Odyssey. The majority of my team of engineers are also longtime Odyssey customers. Many of us have owned three or more Odysseys in our lives. And we use this intimate knowledge and experience with the product to create an all new vehicle focused on the needs of American customers within this uniquely North American vehicle segment. The minivan segment was built on the strength of baby boomers as the main customer. We had a major challenge in how to keep the minivan characteristics the baby boomer customer appreciated while reaching out to a demanding new customer in Generation Y, the first generation to grow up with this vehicle class. This required more modern styling and more intuitive features, which everyone likes, but Gen Y demands, all while keeping the legendary functionality that Odyssey has brought to market in the past. The current Odyssey is already a class leader in customer satisfaction, and we recognize that. Our objective is first to retain the core values that have made the Odyssey the industry benchmark for minivans, including class leading fuel economy, safety, quality, and reliability. But to create new value, we focused on three core themes to make the Odyssey more intuitive, more functional, and more comfortable, wrapping the entire package in a stylish and distinctive design. Our goal was to make Odyssey the ultimate family vehicle, really a vehicle for the modern American family, a customer who is more connected to the world and wants to spend more time with family, desiring quantity time, not just quality time. So this is a vehicle we think the customer will want to spend a lot of time in. Today, we're going to show you the 2011 Odyssey's top of the line Touring Elite model. The first thing you'll notice with the 2011 Odyssey is a much more stylish shape. It's lower and wider, which is not just for a sportier look, but it makes it roomier and more aerodynamic. We recognize the minivan is first and foremost a functional vehicle. One thing we know and confirmed throughout this development was that minivan customers were unwilling to sacrifice any of their interior space and functionality. So we focused on maintaining and enhancing this interior space all within this new design. Let's talk about a few of the new styling features. We start with premium features like high intensity discharge headlights in the front and an 18 inch tire and wheel package. Inside you may notice the bigger brakes for better secure braking feeling. As introduced at the Chicago Auto Show, we also moved the door handles closer together for a cleaner look and added safety and style features such as a turn signal to the side mirror. As Odyssey customers ourselves, we know the importance of being able to identify your vehicle in a sea of minivans and SUVs in parking lots. So we gave it a signature lightning bolt design for a distinctive and fresh modern look. Our team originally called this 100 meter styling because we wanted a strong styling statement that will make it easy for our customers to find their Odysseys in crowded parking lots, even from 100 meters away. This new design also provides better visibility from inside, allowing us to lower the glass line for better visibility for third row passengers. But with this distinctive styling, we found in our focus group research that people were surprised to learn that we could make this interior more functional and roomy, even with this sporty styling package. As I already mentioned, we realized that functionality is still the main reason why people buy minivans. So our goal is to enhance our class leading interior functionality from the current Odyssey. Hi, I'm Stephen Fry, Principal Engineer for the 2011 all-new Honda Odyssey. And as Art stated, we've created a new interior design focused on the three themes of making this Odyssey more intuitive, more functional, and more comfortable. Let me show you specifically how we work towards this in the front row. And as you'll see, the execution is really about attention to detail from the moment you open the door. From the convenience of a puddle light at the bottom of the front door 
to the improved interior ambient lighting in the foot area and as well as from overhead. We've made a significant effort to increase the comfort in the front row. One area of focus was to identify the surfaces that the customers most often touch. By adding padding to areas like the door lining upper and the armrests, we've made our customers quantity time more enjoyable on those long family drives. As Art mentioned, the increased exterior width has directly translated to an increased interior width. We've added almost an inch of extra shoulder room here in the front row. And to further improve seat comfort, we've added a new power lumbar feature, which gives the driver 10-way power adjustment, something that discerning customers can really appreciate. In this technology age, we also set out to make Odyssey more intuitive. Our design concept for the center stack area was to separate the heating and cooling controls, the 12 speaker premium sound audio controls, and the navigation system controls into three distinct areas. We identified the primary use controls for each and relocated them to make them easier to find and more intuitive to use. Of course, we paid attention to even the smallest of details, like moving the glove box latch closer to the driver, moving the heated seat switches to the heating and cooling area, and simplifying the operation of our navigation system. We understand with today's modern family, there's an increasing need for hidden secure storage that is functional and easy to use. So we wanted to enhance and improve their ability to store the ever-increasing number of new gadgets in the market. To address this need, we added what we're calling the media tray, specifically designed to hold things like your cell phones and MP3 players. We even moved the power outlets directly next to this unique storage compartment. And we found room to add a cup holder. Now, let me tell you about an experience that one of our team members shared with us. On his long family trips, he would bring along a small cooler to keep his drinks and snacks cool. The problem was finding a good place to put it that was safe and easy to access. We took this challenge and created the cool box function. Inside this even larger storage compartment, there's enough room in here for you to store drinks and snacks for you and your kids. We sized it to fit common use items like six 12 ounce cans and even four 20 ounce beverages. And it will keep them cold for hours. To complement these functional storage compartments, we also added this new center console, which we designed to hold large items such as a purse. We also looked at the new and unique beverage containers in the market today. And we made these cup holders functional with drinks as small as a Red Bull or as large as a big gulp. We even made it removable to allow easy access into the second row. Now, with all these new storage areas, combined with those in the door liners, you'll have ample room to hold small, medium, and large items, all within easy reach of the driver. Now, let me show you how we improve the comfort and functionality of the second row. With flexible seating that operates in three main configurations to comfortably and easily accommodate the needs of either adults or children. Now, the primary seating configuration is with two captain's chairs and the center seat in the down position. Now, in this configuration, you can really get a feel for the interior spaciousness of the second row. Now, let me highlight some of the features here cup and bottle holders in the center console, door linings, and the armrest. Not only does the center seat make a great armrest, but we've also increased its width by four inches, making it a seat that everyone can enjoy sitting in. And our all new 16.2 inch ultra wide rear entertainment system with the ability to show movies in true wide mode or split the screen in half and allow two separate inputs for those times when your children can't agree on what to watch on those long family road trips. And as all parents know, kids generate lots of trash. So we decided to add this new feature, which we're calling the trash ring. It flips up from the base of the center console 
and easily fits a standard plastic shopping bag. You assemble it around the ring. It fits securely in place. Now, there's no reason to find empty hamburger wrappers on the floor at the end of your next family vacation. The primary mode offers the maximum amount of head and shoulder room, but we wanted to offer even more functional and flexible seating configurations. So we took advantage of the wider exterior and created the second seating configuration called wide mode seating, where both outboard seats move almost two inches this allows us to fit among the largest child seats in the market in all three seats, and each seat has its own child seat anchor. The third seating configuration offers the most flexibility and functionality. For families with children in two car seats, we've added a comfort slide feature to the center seat. You can move your infant almost six inches closer to you in the front row. Now, reinserting the pacifier doesn't require pulling over to the side of the road anymore. Earlier, we mentioned the low and wide design of this new Odyssey, and here is one of the primary benefits of this wider package. Even with two child seats in use in the second row, with a simple tip and slide motion, the outboard seat slides forward, creating ample space for an adult to ingress to the third row. And to make this even easier, we've relocated the seat lever for more intuitive access. While the second row was designed to accommodate three child seats, the third row was designed to enable three adults to sit comfortably. We made the interior cabin wider back here for increased adult comfort by keeping the slide door motor below shoulder height. This was the key to enabling three adults to sit in the rear. We also increased third row leg room by one inch and added a center armrest. New for the 2011 Odyssey is an integrated third row sunshade to go along with those in the second row. The combination of extra shoulder room, leg room, and as Art mentioned earlier, the lower glass line creates a much more spacious feeling in the third row. So this is not only a comfortable space for adults, but with HDMI and RCA jacks and 150 watt power outlet, the third row becomes a great space for families that want or need to create a separate area for their older children away from their younger siblings. A critical aspect of Odyssey's value to American families has been the flexibility provided by the large accessible cargo area. This vehicle is used for everything from a commuter vehicle to a kid hauler to a cargo hauler. So we needed to focus on what this vehicle can carry in addition to people. We've retained Odyssey's great cargo capabilities for large items like luggage, golf clubs, hockey bags, and even larger items such as 4x8 sheets of plywood. In addition, we've also added some functional smaller storage bays where you can organize and safely stow washer fluid, first aid kits, and other items that are needed by today's families. Making all of this even easier to manage is a further enhancement of the innovative third row magic seat that Honda introduced to the industry more than a decade ago. With a more intuitive one-strap stowage concept, We've improved the ability to stow or lift the magic seat with this simple strap. Now, the storage area has become even easier to use. I've just given you some exciting interior features that make this 2011 Odyssey more intuitive, more functional, and more comfortable. I haven't touched on every interior feature, such as the 15 cup holders, cargo hooks, and other surprises that we've added based on our focus on the real world needs of our customers, including those that we discovered through our own experience as customers of this vehicle. We hope you enjoyed your first look at the 2011 Odyssey. The reality is that we've only begun to tell you about all the things that make the all new Odyssey 
a truly special vehicle, something that will live up to our billing as the ultimate family vehicle. In the days ahead, we'll offer you more information about how we enhanced Odyssey's already class-leading dynamic performance, fuel economy, and safety, as well as some other proprietary features that create a more intuitive, functional, and comfortable experience for the driver and all passengers. We hope you can begin to appreciate the meaningful changes that you will find in this all-new American Odyssey. This year marks the 35th anniversary of our startup of research and development activities in America. And in many ways, this 2011 Honda Odyssey represents another great example of our ability to design, develop, and engineer vehicles from scratch right here in America. But more important than where it was conceived is the fact that we created this vehicle with a complete focus on the wants and needs of American customers. And we can't wait to share even more details with you a little later this year. Thanks for your attention. So long for now.